You've probably seen it on the internet. The robot with those super real, even kind of creepy facial expressions. It used to just make faces like a human, but things have changed. Now a maker isn't just for showing off at tech shows. A maker is now going to work and doing real jobs, just like a person. The secret behind all this is a brainy new system. Engineered Arts, the company behind a maker, launched their own tool called ROS. This isn't the normal open source ROS you may have heard about. This is their own system and it works like magic. Think of it like a big settings menu for a robot. You can sit down with a laptop, log into your Tridium account, open up the RS dashboard and just select what you want a mecha to be. Want the robot to only speak French and be called Chloe? That only takes a couple of seconds. Want it to be an expert in selling paint? Just type that in, give it a list of paint brands and suddenly Chloe is recommending you the perfect colour for your bedroom with all the confidence of a pro. This is the wild part. You don't need to know how to code, anybody can do it. There are five simple tabs in the dashboard. You set its identity, what languages it knows, what personality you want it to have, what knowledge it should hold and what abilities it can use. It's like creating a video game character, but this one walks, talks, thinks and helps you out. What's even crazier? It's all instant. One minute it's a friendly guide, the next it's a helpful customer service agent. In the past, making a robot do something new meant weeks or months of programming and hard work. Now it's a few clicks and a maker comes in different colours and smaller desk sized models so even schools and museums can use them. That means robots like a maker are about to be everywhere, helping people, not just being something cool to look at in a video. The pace of technology is speeding up incredibly fast. Not long ago the idea of self-driving cars seemed like something out of science fiction, almost laughable. But today, hundreds of thousands of Tesla cars navigate the roads on their own every single day. A similar wave of change is happening with AI powered robots. Companies that embraced AI early are already seeing major improvements in how much work gets done, making their businesses more productive and efficient. Experts predict that AI could add trillions of dollars to the global economy by 2030, reshaping industries and creating new opportunities. However, this rapid rise of technology also brings challenges. For many people, jobs they once did might no longer exist in the future, and millions of workers may need to switch to entirely new careers. The future workforce will need strong skills to work alongside AI systems, whether that means managing robots, understanding AI tools, or creating new innovations. This means learning and adapting quickly will be more important than ever. All right, time to look at what's happening beyond a maker, because China is pushing things even further. Meet Walker S2, the new robot from UB Tech. This one does something no human or robot has ever done before. It changes its own battery all by itself. Imagine a robot working quietly on a factory floor, realises its battery is low, walks over to a station, pops the old battery out, grabs a new one and just keeps working, all in less than three minutes. No human hands required, no stopping the action and no waiting for someone to plug it in. Walker S2 uses two batteries. One takes over if the other runs out so the robot never loses power or forgets what it was doing. Even smarter, the robot chooses if it needs to swap fast or if it should just plug in and charge, depending on how important its current job is. And all of these robots use the same style of battery, so any factory can have a whole team of robots all charging, swapping and working together non-stop. This way, machines don't sit idle, they just keep going all week around the clock. But these new update isn't exact the thing we should fear. What we should fear about is China's war robots that they are building on massive scale. You can learn about those robots on the video shown on your screen, but it gets even more high tech. UB Tech has a smart system called Brainit that links all their robots together. Think of it like a hive mind. There's a super brain in the cloud giving out tasks and instructions, and then thus each robot has its own smaller sub brain to make decisions on the fly. This means the robots not only don't bump into each other, they can actually work as a team, like a sports team, passing jobs, sharing space, and reacting to changes in real time. The super brain is insane. It's trained on millions of pieces of manufacturing data, knows how to check for the best routes and keeps the robots updated on everything. And these robots can move like a real person, walking, correcting their steps, climbing over things, weaving through busy factories, dodging forklifts and workers. Earlier robots used to roll around or shuffle, but now they walk, dodge and move like you and me. Now UB Tech isn't doing this alone. In May, they joined up with the huge company Huawei, which means even more advanced networks, super fast internet, and a whole lot of backup muscle for big factories. This is real, and it's here today, working inside factories for companies like Neo, Zio, and BYD. But there's someone else in China giving them a run for their money. Leju Robotics, another advanced robot brand, 
is building all kinds of robots for factories, hospitals, schools, and even showing them off at the Olympics. Backed by big names like Tencent and top investment groups, Lejeune has robots that can handle everything from picking up boxes in a car factory to giving speeches at big tech events. Their new model, Rowan 2, is smaller and built tough to handle both light and heavy work. Their secret source is a big platform that links up robots across different cities, kind of like a delivery service for skills. They work with advanced AI that lets them take on new tasks easily. Take their Kuovo robot, for instance. It has a special connection with a giant AI system called Pangu, so it can sort stuff in warehouses, pick up heavy totes, and keep factories running smoothly. Each robot can be shaped for a different job, making Lejeune's robots like a box of tools ready for anything. Now let's take a giant jump to South Korea, where another wild experiment is underway at massive shipyards. Hyundai, not just a car maker, but also a robot pioneer, they own Boston Dynamics, the company that built the famous Atlas robot, is teaming up with German company Neuro Robotics to solve one of the most dangerous problems, shipyard welding. Here's the challenge. Welding heavy metal in a shipyard is hard, risky, and needs a ton of skill. Normally, only super trained workers can do it, and even then it's dangerous. So Hyundai and Neuro Robotic created the 4 Any one robot, which isn't just smart, it can learn new jobs, fix itself, and adapt to brand new types of work. It even has a reinforced, tough body built to survive heat, sparks and chaos, as well as smart software for precise welding and lifting. The plan is to have it working in real shipyards by 2027. That means real robots, not humans, doing some of these difficult, even life-threatening jobs. And wait, it's not just Hyundai and Neura in the race. While Hyundai owns Boston Dynamics, their top robot Atlas isn't quite ready to learn and adapt fast enough for these kinds of challenges, which just shows how quickly Neuro Robotics has caught up. Meanwhile, other companies from America are also working on their own humanoid welding robots for shipyards, so this field is exploding with innovation on all sides. So why does any of this matter? Because these aren't just cool gadgets anymore. They're the future of work, doing boring, dangerous or tough jobs that people either don't want or can't do safely. The robots aren't here to steal your lunch money. They might be here to save lives and boost productivity when businesses need it most. Machines like Omeka, Walker S2 and Rowan 2 are changing faster than anyone expected. We've gone from seeing robots pull silly faces online to seeing them working real jobs, charging themselves, thinking as a team and stepping into places where humans have always been. It's all moving so fast it almost feels like science fiction. But this is real and it's happening right now, all across the world. It's incredible to see how quickly robots have evolved. Not long ago, robots like Amika were mostly known for their cool faces and human-like expressions that amazed people online. But now, they're stepping out of the lab and into real-world jobs. Robots like Walker S2 can keep working all day by changing their own batteries without stopping. Rowan 2 and others can take on a wide range of tasks, from sorting packages in warehouses to helping in hospitals and factories. These machines think on their own, plan with other robots in teams, and move smoothly through crowded spaces where humans work. It's like watching science fiction come to life right before our eyes. What's really amazing is how fast all this is happening. Companies across the globe, from South Korea to China and the US, are racing to build smarter, more capable robots. They're not just machines anymore, they're starting to act like collaborative partners. You might see these robots helping a customer find the perfect paint colour one day, then moving heavy materials safely in a factory the next. They are becoming flexible workers, ready to jump into all kinds of roles and environments. But as exciting as this all is, it also raises important questions. Are these robots just here to help and make life easier? Or are we creating something bigger that could be hard to control? When machines start thinking, making decisions and working together independently, it opens up new challenges. How do we make sure they stay safe and don't cause problems? How should they fit into our workplaces and society? It's not just a question for engineers and scientists, it's one for everyone. We all have a role in shaping this future. By staying informed, sharing ideas and thinking carefully about how we use these powerful tools, we can make sure robots become trusted helpers and co-workers. But it's okay to feel a bit nervous too. Change this big can feel overwhelming. That's why talking about it, asking questions and planning ahead matters so much. What do you think? Are you excited for this robotic future or do you worry about what might come? Drop your thoughts in the comments, we'd love to hear your take. Here's the big question. Are these robots just helpers or are we building something that could get out of control in the future? Will they become friendly co-workers or something way bigger? That's up to all of us. What do you think? Are these changes exciting or do they make you a little nervous? 
let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories that take you right to the edge of the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.